Let's solve a 3 by 3 system of equations by using an elimination method, and this is how I would recommend you guys to do it. Pick a variable that you want, eliminate that variable first. And to do that, let's say I want to eliminate x first, then you will have to make sure the number in front of the x are going to be the same. And then also, you have to make sure the sign alternates, meaning if the first number is positive, then the second number should be negative, and then the third one should be positive as well. Or you can also have negative, positive, negative. Let me demonstrate. So you can eliminate x, y, or z. Your choice. Pick the easy one. Sometimes there's an obvious easy case. But in this case, I think they are about the same difficulty. Let me just work with x to illustrate what I'm saying. The two right here, one right here, and then two right here. Before I continue, let me ask you this question. This is like one right here, by the way. How are you going to add 1 half plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over 3? To add fractions, what you need is you have to figure out what's the lowest common multiple of the denominator. Meaning 2 goes into this number, 1 goes into this number, and 3 also goes into this number. And this number is going to be 6 in this case. So after you determine the LCD, you can change everything so that they all have the same denominator. And that's the idea. So that's the first step. We are going to identify what's the lowest common multiple. We're not talking about denominator here. So lowest common multiple of 2, 1, and 3. And we just talk about it. It's going to be 6. So, th so this is your target. You want to make sure everything in front of the x is going to be 6. So I have 2 right here, 2x right here. 2 times 4 will be 6. The answer 2 times 3. I will have to multiply 3 throughout this equation. And for the next one, I have to multiply. This is just 1, so I have to multiply by 6. 6 times 1 will be 6. But then earlier, this is a positive 6x. Let me multiply by negative 6 throughout this second equation. I want to produce negative 6x. And then the third one, 3 times 4 will be 6. The answer to that is 2. And as you can see, I'm going to produce 6x, negative 6x, and then positive 6x. The sign should alternate. It's going to be easier this way. Trust me. Okay, I'm going to multiply out the equations. The first one, distribute the 3 throughout the first equation. I will have 6x, and then 3 times uh, 3y, it's going to be plus 9y. 3 times negative 2z, it's going to be minus 6z. That's equal to, don't forget, 3 times 4, which will be 12. Second one, negative 6 times x, it's negative 6x. And negative 6 times 3y, it's minus 18y. Negative 6 times negative 3z, is going to be plus 18z. And that equals to negative 6 times 4, which is negative 24. Lastly, we have 2 times 3, which is positive 6x. 2 times negative 6y minus 12y, 2 times z is just plus 2z, and that equals to 2 times negative 3, which is negative 6. And now we are ready to move to the next step. We are ready to really get rid of the x. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to look at the first two equations, equation 1 and equation 2. I'm going to add these two equations together. If I do that, 6x and negative 6x will cancel each other out. Choo -choo. Just do this in your head, don't really cross it out because we still have to use the second equation for the third one. So the result is going to be 9y minus 18y, it's going to be negative 9y. Negative 6z plus 18z, it's going to be plus 12z. And that equals to 12 minus 24, which is minus 12. And then, as I said, we are going to use the second equation again. What I'm going to do is take the look of the second equation, combine with the third equation, and you see now, this is why I want you guys to have alternate sides. Because we are ready to proceed. Because we have the negative 6x right here already, when you combine with 6x, they cancel out right away. So you are just going to have the y left. Negative 18y minus 12y, it's negative 30y. 18z plus 2z is going to be plus 20z. And that's equal to negative 24 minus 6 
and we have negative 30. And now we have a 2 by 2 system of equations. I want to get rid of one of the variables. Well, I think I have the 9 and 30. The 30 is too big. But if you look at 12 and 20, just like how we did it right here, I need to make sure the number in front of the z are the same. Let's look for the LCM, the lowest common multiple of 12 and 20. And the answer to that is 60. Because 12 goes into 60 five times, that means I have to multiply the first equation by 5. And for the second equation, 20 goes into 60 three times. 3 times 20 is 60. But then earlier, 5 times positive 12 will be positive 60. So I should have a negative number right here. I will multiply by negative 3 instead of positive 3. What we are going to get is going to be 5 times negative 4y. It's going to be negative 45y. 5 times 12z plus 60z. And that's equal to 5 times negative 12 minus 60. Second one, negative 3 times negative 30y, it's positive 90y. Negative 3 times 20z, it's going to be minus 60z. That's equal to negative 3 times negative 30. It's equal to 90. And now we are going to combine these two equations and finally we'll be able to solve for one variable. After we cancel all the z's, we are going to end up negative 45y plus 90y, it's positive 45y, and that's equal to negative 60 plus 90, which is 30. And divide both sides by the number in front of the variable, divide both sides by 45. This way they cancel. I end up with 30 over 45. I can reduce this fraction. Uh, let me use 5 first. 5 goes into 30 6 times. 5 goes into 45 9 times. But I can reduce further. Let me use 3. 3 goes into 6 twice. 3 goes into 9 3 times. So what we're saying is y is equal to 2 over 3. And we got our variable done for the y. <laughs> and then what we're going to do is we're going to do it backwards. So as you can see, this is kind of like a snake. So you go from all the way from the west coast and then you travel to the east coast and then you go down south. So what do you do now? You are going to go backwards. When you go backwards, you have to take the y, it's equal to two thirds with you. And you can plug into either the first equation or the second equation, doesn't matter. The first equation, the numbers are smaller, let me use the first equation. Well, I'm going to plug in y back to this equation right here. I will write down negative 9 times y, and y we just found, it's going to be 2 thirds, so I'm going to put down 2 thirds right here, and then the rest is going to be the same, plus 12z is equal to negative 12. Let's work out this part first, negative 9 times 2 thirds, this is a negative 9 over 1, and 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 9 3 times, negative 3 times 2, we get negative 6, plus 12z is equal to negative 12. And then we can add 6 on both sides. Cancel this out. And we can bring down the 12z that will equal to negative 12 plus 6, which is negative 6. Then divide both sides by 12. Cancel out this 12. And we just solve for another variable, z. z is equal to negative 6 over 12, which is going to be negative 1 half. At the moment, this is looking really good. We got the y and we got the z. But don't forget the x. So I'm going to bring both the y and z together into any of this equation. Of course, you want to use the one that's the easiest. Perhaps I will choose this one. I will select this one. Let me write down x plus 3. For the y, I know it's going to be 2 thirds. So let me put down start into this parentheses and I will continue writing down minus 3 I see the z so open the parentheses z as we found out it's going to be negative 1 half so I will multiply by negative 1 half and that's equal to 4 and now let's work this out this is going to be x plus 3 times 2 thirds is just going to be 2 because they cancel each other out so we have 2 and right here this is a like negative 3 over 1 
So you have to do negative 3 times negative 1, which is going to be positive. 3 times 1 is 3. 1 times 2 is 2. So 3 over 2 like this. And that's equal to 4. To solve for x plus 2 plus 3 half, it's equal to 4. You have many choices. Perhaps let's be consistent. Whenever you see a fraction, you can always multiply everything by the lowest common denominator. In this case, it's a 2. And let me do it this way. You can of course add the fractions up if you would like, but then as I said, let me do it this way. So I don't need to work with adding or subtracting fractions. Multiply everything by 2 so that this 2 and this 2 will get rid of each other. And the next equation will have no more fraction. We have 2x plus 4 plus 3 is equal to 2 times 4 is equal to 8. That means we have 2x plus 7 is equal to 8. I can just subtract 7 on both sides, get rid of this 7. I can get 2x equals to 1. 8 minus 7 is equal to 1. Then divide both sides by 2. Cancel out the 2s. And finally, I got the x as well. x is equal to 1 half. Alright, so as you can see that we solve for x, y, and z all together. And this is how you can write the answer. You can write the answer as a worded triple. You put down x first, which is 1 half, and you put down y, which is 2 thirds, and you put down z, which is negative 1 half. And this is how you can write the answer. And once again, you have to put down these numbers in order. The first number is for x, the second number is for y, and the third one is for z. And we are done. Of course, I'm going to box this for my answer because it took me so long to solve these questions. Box it with pride. Good.